Hi everyone, it's Tanya Krause here. And I wanted to talk about a little bit of reflection on accountability and um, probably reflection and self-awareness. So we know that we need to develop an awareness or a consciousness of not only what we're doing and what our horse is doing, but also what, how we're reacting to what our horse is doing and how, what we're bringing to the table when our horse is doing things. So I was in the hairdresser today and a girl came in, got seated, she was waiting for somebody and she, uh, the, the beautician was running late and the girl proceeded to have a big old bitch to the other girl sitting on the couch saying, oh, you know, you'd think that they would have a system that they would call you and da 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 da. And then in the next breath says, because I'm 40 minutes late. So she's running really late. So she expected that she would receive a call, um, but didn't, hadn't made the call herself to say, oh, I'm running late and can you still fit me in 40 minutes after my appointment? So that's a pretty extreme example. But I think when the horse is, is doing things, we can get wrapped up in, he spooked and he nearly ran me over. Or he's not even paying attention to me, me, me. And we don't actually pause to actually think the horse feels like he's in danger. So let's just practice that. 